Kingdong County government has issued 2.4 million NT in fines to golf ball maker Launch Technologies after a blast at the company's plant killed four firefighters and six employees. The company was found to have stored 30 times the legal limit of hazardous chemicals at its factories. It also failed to provide a complete inventory of the substances in storage during the firefighting operations. In the wake of the tragedy, Premier Chen Jianren vowed to upgrade firefighting equipment and manpower. He says the government will also consider letting firefighters establish labor unions. At a Monday press conference, Pingdong's commissioner listed three major violations by Launch Technologies. Up to 100 kilograms of organic peroxides were permitted at the site, but it has been determined that there were more than 3,000 kilograms on site the day of the incident. The company violated building codes and broke rules regarding disaster prevention, so we have decided to issue the people in charge a heavy fine of 300,000 NT. Besides storing excess hazardous chemicals, Launch Technologies failed to provide a complete inventory of the substances stored on the day of the explosion in an attempt at concealment. It also failed to designate specialists to coordinate a response with firefighters. In total, the company has been issued 2.4 million NT in fines for the three violations. Launch Technologies imported and kept three kinds of organic peroxides in storage. But on the day of the incident, it only provided safety documents pertaining to one of the substances. The administrator of the plant also failed to assign personnel to assist the fire commander, which is in violation of Section 2 of Article 21-1 of the Fire Services Act. The fire cost the lives of four firefighters who died in the line of duty. Their deaths have reignited calls for reforms to firefighters' rights. Premier Chen Jianren says the government will allocate extra funding to upgrade equipment and manpower. The government has already finalized the budget of 7.6 billion NT for firefighting equipment and facilities. In the future, we will allocate another 8 billion NT to make improvements to personnel and equipment in the shortest time possible. As for further protecting their rights, we will deal with the matter as soon as possible. Calls have emerged for the government to let firefighters form labor unions. Premier Chen had this to say. We will carefully consider the issue of a firefighting labor union. Firefighters are public servants, so the executive yuan and examination yuan will continue negotiating the matter to come up with the best solution. From more protections to equipment upgrades, the government is seeking ways to prevent a similar tragedy from reoccurring.